there are lots of people are asking me and even my husband kung kailan ba kami magkakaroon ng baby. Parang may time nga sa buhay ko na sobrang pressured na ho. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm Carla. So, a few days ago, I posted in my Instagram stories and even in my Facebook stories, messenger stories, just in Facebook, that if you have any question about me, just ask away about personal and even about my profession which is nursing so today i'm going to answer all those questions actually there are some questions that are the same and there are only few questions so what are we waiting for let's start in three two one Before answering all those questions, I want to share to you first basic information about me. So hi, I'm Carla. I am a nurse living here in Riyadh for almost six years now. Uh, so I started YouTube because since I like talking alone, <laughs> then why don't I do it in front of the camera? And I believe that this is something that I can look back in the future so if you are my families and friends just support me please 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 by watching my videos and subscribing to my channel i make videos about my lifestyle profession which is nursing and just anything under the sun and i am a christian i believe in one god and that he is three in one so now guys since I already shared to you some of my basic informations now I'm going to answer some of the questions that were sent in my Facebook so the first one is actually I will answer something about my profession which is nursing so ako, this question is from means Makapanyas Ano pinakapalpa at nakakatawa na nagawa mo nung student nurse ka pa? Actually, ilang beses ko tong inisip. As in, hindi ko maisip siya. <laughs> hindi ko siya maisip. Maybe because I graduated years, 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 years ago. But if kagrupo kita, group 1B, at may naalala ka na, pinakamapalpa at pinakakatawang, experience ko, maybe you can comment down below and share to me. Pero, since hindi ko siya maalala, I will just tell you yung pinaka um, what do you this? Pinaka nakakahiyang ginawa ko na lang. Hindi siya palpak eh, kasi, but nahihiya ako personally. So, during my college days, and until now naman, sobrang kikay ako. So, I put makeup, not too much makeup, pero makeup na pang estudyante naman, and eyeshadow. And since that day is, yung group namin is assigned siya in OR, operating room, at nakai eyeshadow ako at then eyeshadow ako ng puti, just to wake up my eyes, para hindi man ako magbukang tulog, <laughs> guys. So, ang ginawa ko noon ay naka eyeshadow ako ng puti para mas mapunga yung mata ko. So, ako pala ang assigned scrub nurse. So, ako yung scrub nurse. Malamang ako yung scrub nurse. So, natabi, nasa tabi ako ng surgeon. So, parang ako dito. Nandito yung surgeon. Nandiyan yung first assist. Nandiyan. Tapos, nandiyan yung mga malayo-layo konti. Nandiyan yung mga estudyante. So, while we are in the middle na ng operation, the surgeon looked at me and told me, oh, pala, ah, but may puti ka sa mata? And he even tell that sa first assist nila. Oh, sabi niya, pero sinabi niya na, oh, may puti siya sa mata, oh. Then, both of them are looking at me at lahat nakatingin sa akin sa operating theater. At sobrang, sobrang nakakahiya during that time, guys. Kasi lahat sila nakatingin sa akin for a few seconds. Hindi man ako pinagalitan ng aking CI or hindi ko nga maalala kung nandun siya or baka nasa kabilang theater siya kasi titignan din niya yung kaklase ko or yung kagroup ko nandun. Pero hindi ko siya maalala. Basta yung time na yun, sobrang nahiya ako, guys. So, hindi siya nakaka... Hindi siya palpak, pero nakakahiya siya as in. So, but kasi makeup, makeup pa, diba? Nasa war ka nga, but makeup, makeup. <laughs> so, guys, punta naman tayo sa question naman ni Katrina Danielle Butak. Meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. May guide 7. 7 questions. Sulit na sulit na ang Q&A sa 7 questions niya. <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, ang first question is, paano mo na-handle yung mga patients mong moody? 
wala. Hindi ko sila hinahandle, guys. Actually, hindi ko man sila kailangan pakisamahan. <laughs> hindi ko alam, no? Napakamaldita kong sen. So, personally, I don't handle them. Depende din sa mood ko kasi, guys. So, may mood-mood din ng nurse. Pero, definitely, hindi ko sila tinapatulan unless... Unless talaga, no? Kasi pinapatulan, nahayaan ko lang sila dyan na maging moody. So, sometimes, di ba, inahayaan mo sila, oh, na tinahayaan, you just go with the flow. Parang, sila yung pasyente, ikaw yung nurse. So, if they are moody, sometimes you need just na bulabulahin sila or talk to them nicely. And if moody talaga sila, kailangan lang maging professional ka to deliver the care that they needed. So what I mean is, don't take it personally. They are moody for some reasons. And I believe it's not because of you. It's not because of me. I'm their as their nurse. So not their friend. So no need to take it personally. So dead malang guys. Dead malang. But I'll pray hard that, that in reality guys, I'll pray hard that they'll be discharged. And not see them again. <laughs> so, kasi ang hirap mag-handle ng patient na sobrang moody. Diba? Sobrang hirap, guys. Parang you're walking in a thin, thin eyes. Wow! Sabi so, my third question, again, from Katrina, is have you ever attached sa mga patients mo? No. Have you ever attached sa mga patients mo? No. I see to it and I try hard. Although there are some patients that they stayed with you for almost one week na tipong nag-off ka na pagdating mo, andun pa din, guys. Pero no, I don't get attached with patients. I just know that they are patient and they will leave the hospital. Siguro, Siguro because I'm a nurse, nasanay na ako na to get attached with person agad-agad. Yun. So, hindi, never ako naging attach. In your question, the, the fourth question, guys, is in your own words, ano yung hardest thing being a nurse? I guess, well, the hardest thing is nurses are underrated, especially in the Philippines. So, undervalued, under, ano ba, underappreciated. So, yun lang. I just want to say that nurses are also professionals. They studied for four years and even took the nursing licensure exam so it means that may pinag-aralan sila and what they are doing to you is as important din ng ginagawa ng doctor because the doctors if sila yung brain the nurses are also the backbones of the hospital so the next question medyo seryoso ako dun ha <laughs> Paano mino motivate? Paano mo mino motivate yung mga patients mo? So I motivate them by giving them proper health education, di ba? Sabi nga ni Ernie Baron, di ba? Knowledge is power. If you give them some, or if you teach them, or you properly educate patients, I believe na they they can manage their own diseases well. They can, we can have disease prevention kasi ma-prevent pa yung mga complications, future complications ng sakit na meron sila. And of course, not just the patients, you should include the close family about the health education. And there is a greater possibility that they will improve their overall conditions, condition and prevent worsening their condition if there is proper education so yun the next question is what is your favorite and least favorite clinical experience uh -huh. when i was a student my least favorite is pediatric ward and uh, my most favorite is medical surgical so the next 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 question questions question how do you handle how do you handle stress i handle stress ano ba? i verbalize how stressful i am it is very important you have you have that one person na pwede mong sabihan ng lahat ng hinanakit mo sa manang loob mo kung gaano ka nakapagod that's how i handle stress i need to share it with someone and 
hashtag bless ako because I have a husband who has the same profession as me and he can understand kung ano yung mga pinagdadaanan ko minsan sa duty, kung ano yung mga hinanakit ko, kung gano'n ako ka-stress. Ayan. So, napaka-importante na kaya mong i-verbalize diba, yung situation mo, uh, present emotion mo, or yung present stress mo. And secondly, pag sobrang-sobrang stress ka na, just get out from your present condition and go to places. Kaya nga, I travel. I make sure me and my husband travel once a year. We visit a place para naman iba yung vibe na makuha namin. So, kung hindi ka naman sobrang stressful ka na pagbalik mo ng bakasyon is stressful ka pa din, maybe you need to change your environment. You need to assess the cause of your stress. Because sometimes, maybe because of the workload or maybe because of the Because of your katrabaho din. So, the next question. Uh, what advices can you give para, masanga, para sa mga gustong maging nurse? Hi na ko, ate! <laughs> Hi na ko, ate! Hi na ko, kuya! Kung gusto mong maging nurse, talaga, you should assess yourself why you want to be a nurse. Diba? May iba't iba tayong dahilan para maging nurse. Pero, I believe, ibang dahilan mo is para magkaroon ng maraming pera. There are lots of professions there that can give you even a better incentive, a better salary than nursing. So, just think twice, thrice, four times, or even five times, guys. Check your motives kung bakit mo nga gustong maging nurse. Diba? I believe that being a nurse is a fulfilling job in many ways, guys. But it is also a very stressful job. Aww. Sobrang stressful ng pagiging nurse. From the workload, from sa pahikisamahan mo, as I've said in my previous job, is not your, not only your katrabaho, but also your patient, patient's family, and everyone working near you. So stress guys. <laughs> but very fulfilling. So, I even told my dad, husband that if our future children would like to work in healthcare, malamang sa malamang, I will discourage them. I will <laughs> see to it that I will tell them how healthcare, no, how working in healthcare is. Diba? So, however, guys, if you really like to be a nurse, then pursue it if it's what makes your heart beat. If, if you really, really, really like being a nurse, then pursue it. There's a lot of specialty in nursing that you might like. Although nursing is stressful, as I've said before, it is very fulfilling also. So my last question about nursing is actually from Solomon Magdadaro. Why being a nurse po yung napili nyo? He, he, he. So, he also have a YouTube channel, which is, which is, which is Solomon's Key. So, why ba? Why? Because, honestly, my mom is a nurse, but it actually, it doesn't influence me talaga na maging nurse. It's just happened that when I graduated in high school, I don't know yet what to what I want to be. So, in universities, what they call this? Universities, entrance exam. So, I took college entrance exam dalawang beses. And the first course I write is BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, because all my, not all, but some of my classmates, uh, yun ang ipuperson nila. So, naging nurse ako, but so far, so good. I never imagined or I could not imagine myself not being a nurse. Max naman, guys. So, but sometimes if I'm stressful na, parang sinusumpa ko yung decision ko yun. But, no. This is my bread and butter now. And I love being a nurse in many ways. I love being a nurse in many ways. So, tapos na yung ating mga nurse-related activities questions. Now naman, pupunta tayo sa personal question. 
so from this is from uh what they call this instagram so sin from cindy rutra she's my classmate in college so i think she has she's starting her youtube channel also so support support na lang from cindy rutra kailan ka makakaroon ng angel si liet because i'm small that's why liet tawag niya mm. Mm. Actually, ah, <laughs> uh, uh, ha, ha. There are lots of people are asking me and even my husband kung kailan ba kami magkakaroon ng baby. Para may time nga sa buhay ko na sobrang pressured na ho, pero hindi ako nagpa-pressure. <laughs> so, I would like to have a baby as in sobrang sobrang I want to have a child and even my husband wants to have me as in one and two lang, and my husband wants to have more than one and two, but we're not starting yet a family. So, paano magkakaroon ng more than three, and more than four, at more than two nga? So, I guess every person has their own time. But for me and my husband, it's not our priority right now. Baby project is not our project yet, guys. So, but if darating siya ngayon na magkakaroon ako ng baby then I will be more than more than more than happy because sometimes I really want 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 but now parang hindi pa namin kaya magkaroon na baby in all aspects like emotionally financial in the future maybe two to three years from now <laughs> but not now <laughs> so the last question na maraming pare parehong nagtanong guys Kasi ba naman ang picture na sinan ko ay ito. Yan. So, ang question, why so pretty? but ang ganda mo? Hindi ko din alam. Choke na. <laughs> no. I don't know. Thanks to my parents and to God. Pero hindi. Hindi man ako nagaganda sa sarili ko. Hindi ko nga lang kung pisasali ko talaga tong question na to. O oh, hindi. But I believe that he is in the eye of the beholder. And lahat tayo may tanik kanya-kanyang taglay na ganda. So, so yun lang yung question ko guys. So, thank you for sending your questions. And thank you for supporting me. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope for my families and friends that are not yet subscribed to my channel. Please keep watching my videos and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please, 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 please. So, thank you for tuning in and have a nice weekend. Don't forget, I'm Carla. Bye. See you next time.